Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US tech stocks. Just before we start though, I just want to talk about this Bitcoin prediction uh, game uh, here. So um, basically what I want to say is that if you haven't played it already, then uh, you can enter, you've got two days to enter. You can change your price, you can edit your price up to the 20th day of each month GMT time. This is uh, my uh, prediction uh, here, price. Uh, I can edit it up until the 20th and then it's over at that point. Uh, the game is locked in and the leaderboard here will just sort of tick over at that particular time. If you haven't played it, all the rules are down here and um, basically it's, well, it's totally free to enter and it's just for fun really. So you can uh, sort of have a look at your uh, analyst for um, analysis for uh, Bitcoin. So that's that, and uh, let's uh, start now. So, because it's the beginning of the week, well, it's actually Saturday, and I normally do this on Monday morning my time. Um, but uh, we'll start with the weekly for the S and P, and there's no change in the in the count here. We've been looking, we've been talking about wave four here and the move up here over the last wee while, you know, and uh, heading up to wave three, four, and five. That's how I sort of see it. So yeah, we still got further to go up here, so we need to talk about this. And this particular move up here uh, can be counted in two different ways. And uh, so we've got two counts, but at least they're in the same direction. So, you know, that's the positive on, on that. And uh, let's go from weekly into daily. So basically all the, most of the, not all the stocks, Tesla's different and Apple is different, but most of the others have got this way for here and we're working up here for this. So uh, that makes it a little bit easier. Um, just go to the, the daily chart uh, here. So it's this blue wave four here. Now there's two ways to count this up here. We can go blue wave one, two, three, four, five, four, one, and then an ABC back for two, and then up for three and four and five up here for that wave three that we're talking about up here. And then we'll have wave four over here. Don't worry about where I put these things because we we'll, we'll need to do a lot of work on all of that. But just to give you the picture there, the other way to count this is actually this wave one here down onto this wave one here. So we'll have a closer look at this wave one count with the NASDAQ. Um, but this one here, we're just going to, we're going from blue one, two, three, four, five. So we're still heading up into that blue wave three there at this point. Uh, so let's just go to the intraday and have a quick look at that. And this is basically what stocks are telling us the same thing as well. So let me just get a little bit more data in here. So we're picking it up from this wave four here. It's a bit complicated here, but uh, one, two, three, four, five of that blue wave one, blue wave two here, and then pushing all the way up here from blue wave two with five green waves in it further up uh, here somewhere. Let's just go in in here we'll have a closer look at this on the indices video of course but um yesterday when we were looking at this we we're looking for this particular wave four here so we've got from here we've got one two three four five for one and two and one and two and three and four and five for the third wave fourth wave and if we can just draw this out here and a bit bigger picture here we'll be looking for a move up here to take that top out how far it goes up not sure we just got to count the waves up and then we'll look for a um uh, a wave four and then up for wave five and then back for a wave two that type of thing we'll look at all of that a bit later but just to sort of get you in the sort of picture so there's no real change in this particular count but that's it there so let's just have a look at the the NASDAQ, so also pick it up from uh, wave four here. And the count here is that we could look at it as blue wave one and two, and then one, two, three, four, and five going up here. So we'll just draw this out here a little bit. So uh, going up here for wave five, and then back here for wave four, we'll need to navigate that, could get a bit ugly. And then, whoops, Daisy, and then um, wave one, uh, up here for this so this is basically what stocks are telling us you know and then we can come back for some abc for wave two at this point so that will be in there um so we'll pay closer attention to this when we do the indices video if we want to do things a little bit differently and we want to put this wave one here 
right? Then if I go to the daily chart and just have a look at that count with this wave one sitting over here, it would sit like this here. Just let me get this into perspective here. So it's good just to track both counts. So not, not, not a huge difference really, but uh, one and two here, then one, two, three, four, five for the third, the fourth and the fifth for this third, and then this fourth here can come back to this wave four here and all that sort of stuff. Um, <clears throat> so that's... Um, that's the all sort of alternative count. But in a way, it doesn't, the third and the fourth and the fifth here are all going to play out the same, and then it's going to pull back. So will it pull back for a wave four, or will it pull back for a wave two? That will be the question that we can look at at the time, do you know? But otherwise, on an intraday basis, everything really stays the same at that um, uh, at that point. So that will be that. Um, okay, so that's that. And um, I just, this wave four here, right? Um, and the stock market, the tech stocks are uh, ahead of the crypto market. So this top here has been taken out. But this wave four here uh, on the same sort of date as this is Bitcoin here. So it's, this is an intraday here. So all the way down here for a wave four as well. It's a bit of, Bitcoin's a bit of a tech stock actually. So, um, <clears throat> so we're looking at one and ABC for two and then one and two and three, four, five up here for the thing. Now what I wanted to mention uh, here is that this move that we've been looking for uh, in here, that will be one, two, three, four, five here. And then we'll come back for an ABC. Now, the other thing here is that I've got this alternative count here that this rally can be an ABC correction. So it can be an A wave, a B wave, and then a C wave in five waves and then come down from that point. So what we're going to do, we've got a couple of positions in here anyway. We're going to put this uh, over here on the B wave here. So once these five waves here complete, we'll have an ABC pattern here. Then we can go along at that point. Okay, so we, we want the market to come to us um, rather than sort of chasing it up the top here because, you know, that's um, that's for uh, the young bloods to do that chasing. Um, so, yeah, we need this five-way structure to finish and then we can um, look at this part here and then, and then build in, you know, over here much stronger. And we'll also be able to do that with many of the other... Um, <clears throat> tokens as well. Okay, so we over to Apple here and um, Apple is got accounts a bit like, not like Tesla, but they're both different than the general market. Okay, so um, we, a bit difficult to bring them into the bigger picture in the same count, uh, but on an intraday basis, they pretty much, uh, uh, you know, do the same as the, uh, as the, um, as the other markets. So I'm just getting in here, I'm just getting my chart back here for this because this little move that's coming up here from uh, from this low here of one, two, three, four, five here is pretty much the same as what we're working with with the NASDAQ here as one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five up here for this, this top here. So even though it's a different count, um, this top here is going to be the same. I'm going to pull back uh, here. Now, um, we've got this as a two pulling back here. So we'll have this as a two pulling back here as well uh, and then pushing up. But this sort of needs to be confirmed a little bit because it's a different count. We could use this here as a different count as well here. Um, I won't go into it at the moment, but um, we'll be careful about expecting a strong third wave up there. I think we'll be all right, but uh, something we need to work through. I'm going to have a look at this on this little leg here on the intraday basis now. Um, so from this low area here, we got in nice and early here and been adding along the way and we'll look to take some money off the top there. So in a bit of a nutshell, we're looking for this three, four and five here. So it's a slightly different count, but, um, and then we'll look for an ABC back. Now, will it reach the 200? Look, I, I don't know. All we can do is really count the waves, you know, as we go. So, but this is this particular um, up, down, up here is what we're going to get um, from the indices. Well, we're going to get it from stock and then the indices are going to get it. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, so that sort of thing. So um, that's where we are. So we've got blue one, two, three, four, and we've been working up through here. I mean, this fifth wave here is quite long, you know, so I kind of think that I could relabel this into another move, but I, kind of want to keep it in line with 
my main count at the moment. So we can have this as one and two and one and two here. And it looks like a third wave here, you know, with another little gap in the third of the third of the third here. So I can see, I can see how we could count this differently up here, but this 200 is going to be a doorstop anyway. So we'll see what it looks like um, against the other markets uh, in the same count. Um, as we go so amazon's a little bit different as well i've got this here as wave one here nice five waves and i've got this now as an a and a b and a c for two in here then one two three four five for one and a b c for two here but as i mentioned yesterday of the day before whenever this little move here looks corrective so it's quite possible that we could just move off from there but it's also possible we could move to here and then move up. It's also possible that we could look at this as one and two here. So one and two and, th and three and four and five. And if we do come down this low, then I'm going to have to look at all of this as wave one up here and then back for wave two over here in this case. It's a little bit weird. And this is a bit hard here really to, all of this here is a bit difficult to figure out because if I go to stocks uh, here, let me just get this into into perspective here this is just the trading view charting and I want to get it in I'm just on a two minute count here I'm just counting Google just to make sure that I got things sort of right but if I go back to Amazon here and put it on say a 15 minute chart just get it into the picture here um, not so much on a 15 minute, it doesn't really sort of show up, but if I go maybe on an hourly chart, does it show up then? Doesn't show up there either. Let me just go into, that's a bit weird. Maybe you haven't got the aftermarket on my extended trading hours. That's a bit weird. Let me just have a look here. Ah, oh, right, 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 right. It's not showing up here because I've got it on the line here. Because I use sometimes I use the line just to help sort of clean things up a little bit. But maybe it's gone. Yeah, so we'll go on the bar chart here. And you see how I've got this big spike here. So you know, because I was calling that the low there, but we've got a nice five waves up there. But then I've got this here, and I, you know, I don't normally include spikes like that. But at the same time, I. I try to sort of figure them out a little bit as well um, but this is a bit of an issue in in, in uh, how to address this this situation up, up here you know um, do I take the low from here or here you know and those sort of things I can see this is a wave four here and it gets a little bit messy in here so and it's also a little bit messy in, in here there's a couple of messy spots in here that's all I'm just trying to say and it's a little bit difficult to uh, to um, to play out actually um, Actually, just while we're on the charting program here, it was kind of interesting. I was looking at, um, just going to left field here, I hope that's okay for a second. I was looking at Russia, and this is Russia here. So it's got the same, it's got, basically it's got the same count as, um, as, um, as the S&P and the NASDAQ. And I thought that was interesting. So... Yeah, their market's just chuffing along, doing very nicely as well. Anyway, I just thought that was interesting. So, um, so uh, yeah, so this is a little bit tricky, this this one, you know. I mean, you, know, you could look at it too as an A and a B and a C coming down here further, but then it would put this way four way out of whack in, compared to the other markets as well. So I do have a bit of an issue here, and, uh, and there's a couple of issue spots in here I've just mentioned, because this spike here on the intraday has come down and taken that low out here. That's what I'm saying. So there's a few things here that, that I'm not sure about, but uh, how this is going to kind of complete here. But if you were looking for a long trade, it would be above that top there in that case, you know. Uh, that would clear it up, but otherwise it's uh, coming down. So, yeah, I'm not very helpful on that one, unfortunately. So this is um, NVIDIA, and we've got uh, earnings on the 22nd, so that takes us into early next week. And, uh, yeah, so this, this wave four here, going all the way up to wave one and two over here. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for five waves up of one and two and three and four and five. So in this instance, we should see a move here, down here somewhere, and that would be about 38.2%, maybe, yeah, 
close enough, and then wave five here, then wave two, a reaction from the 1000, of course. Now, I could label this differently up here, and I can see two different ways that I could label it differently that will probably be a little bit look, better looking, but at the same time, we have to also drag it into the, this is the NASDAQ here again, we have to drag it into blue wave three, blue wave four, and blue wave five because it had the same, you know, the, anything's got the same starting date over here and you'll kind of need to do that because once this tops out here and starts pulling down for whatever reasons it pulled down, there'll be some news event or whatever, um, you know, when it pulls starts to pull down here, all of these markets that have lifted from this date will follow this. So that's why we need to, you know, tie them into, into this. But um, I can see this could be counted in two other ways, but Anyway, we'll stay with it at the moment as as is. Um, but those earnings coming out next Tuesday or so, but that would need double checking as well. Okay, so we're over on to um, uh, Facebook Meta platforms, and it's the same count uh, here again as well um, as one and two, and we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we already got like a little thing up there. So I'm thinking about putting wave three in. But I could also see too that we could have this is the alternative wave four because this could also be counted as a little B wave and this is five waves, one, two, three, four, five. So we could put this over here and have a little move down and then this one could go over to here and here and here. So yeah, all I can say is that um, that we should be pushing up further eventually and it's in group two here. So uh, which is the 80 here. So between two whole numbers here, the Fibonacci numbers 1, 2, 3, 5, and 8, and we talk about 8, we talk about group 2, and we can see that it's creating a nice um, consolidation in here, which will become the support later on over here. So you can see that it will support here to a point, and it would be over here, further over here, it would have done the same thing. So, which is good because we'll be able to use it over here later when we get this wave one and two over here we'll be able to use it to build long positions over here because it you know, being above this all of this zone here this group two zone 65 72 and 80 will become the support for our building process uh, over here so yeah this could be counted in two different ways so it doesn't really matter we'll just let it go for the moment and we'll take profit sort of up at the um up at the five just before the 500 there on that so Okay, so come over to Netflix, and the same thing here applies as well with wave four over here, and then one, two, and we want to go up for wave three here, and then wave four, and then wave five over here for wave one and two. So the same, the same sort of thing here. Now, I could easily have this wrong here as well. I'm quite comfortable with having wave three to this point. It's just where to put this wave four. And do we put in, you know, should I be bringing this back in over here and doing something like this here? And so it's a little bit complicated in here, I have to say, but um, I'll just let this play out. Don't need to sort of do much. Um, this way four can pull back a bit lower here and take any, don't put your stop up under these lows here because it could be tested um, at some point. Um, but basically we need to go up, we need to go back and we need to go up and we need to go back. So as I mentioned before, this is our trade over here. I'm not really worried about all of this. This is where we build in trades. This is where we get out. And this is where we build in again from this wave two over here based on evidence and so on. So, uh, yeah, I know I'm a little bit loose on the tops on some of these. This is um, obviously Google here and we've got uh, wave two with slightly different as well. Wave one and two here and then one and two. I know that's a bit hard to configure as wave one, but I've got it as one here an A and a B and a C for two here and then three and four and five here, and then an A and a B and a C wave here. And counting up as one and two and three, uh, three here, so we still need a little four and a five to get up to that, to this move here. And uh, I've looked at it on two minute chart, so I kind of know where we are really, so not a big deal, we'll be up here somewhere. And then we'll have some sort of ABC over here when as those other ones come back as well. So that's where that will be. So we're just going to, you know, we've got a few positions, we've got still this position down here as well, a bit long for a swing trade, but we just sort of stayed with it. So um, that's all good at this point. Um, yeah, we'll go up at that stage. So um, yeah, I think, we'll, I don't know if we'll get out or stay in at this one because, you know, I don't see it, it, it this group two here. You know, this will be the support here for this. So if we just leave our stop here, go up, we could take something off. 
like sort of a part profit type thing up here and then sort of add that back in, you know, over here, build it back in over here somewhere, you know, could do that. Okay, it's so come to Microsoft. So we've got one and two here and we've got one, two. I could change that too, actually. Um, but uh, I'll leave it there for the time being. One, two, three, four, five. So basically what I've done here is I've just tied this into the current situation as well um, with all the other markets. I'm not sure how far that will come back at this point. Um, but that's the one that we're looking for at that, at that stage. You know, as you can imagine, this supply up here is going to really, you know, distort um, price action uh, in here. So don't expect it to move too too quickly within here. And we just need it to be a bit of an ox and continue to push up and clear all that supply out. And it will eventually, you know, the supply will win, obviously, and, um, and push it back down. But the second time it goes up there, it would have taken a lot of the wind out of the sails and we can move along quite quickly at that point. So when we're moving into a space where we have some good trades. Now Tesla is a little bit different as well. We've got this as wave one up here with an A and a B and a C for wave two. We've got a dodgy little five waves up there and a little ABC pattern here. So it's good, nice to see it sort of move up a little bit. So what we'll do here, you can see this is one and two and three here. Let's just assume for a moment that we do get another move up here, right? Once we've got that there, we're going to get that green guy and put that there. And then we can remove this here. And this little five waves here, if, you know, because the reality is this could be an A and a B and a C wave to here, right? Um, but anything above that, that's going to mean that's going to be bullish. So that will prove to us that's where we need to get in at that point. Okay, so I'll just leave that at that. And I think that's it. That's, um, that's uh, BHP. Um, alrighty, uh, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.